Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, no one wants their brain to shrink as they get older, but that's exactly what happens in the aging process. And the faster your brain shrinks, the greater is the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or cognitive impairment. So I think you'll really find this Lifestyle Medicine Update really fascinating. So it involves a study that was published in the journal of the American Medical Association, Psychiatry, in June of 2016. It provided additional evidence that high blood levels of vitamin B12 can slow the shrinking of the brain that is commonly seen after the age of 60. Now previous studies have shown that vitamin B12 and other B vitamins like folic acid and vitamin B6 can slow the shrinking of the brain in older subjects who have mild cognitive impairment and decrease the risk of it progressing to Alzheimer's disease. So overall, the emerging evidence suggests that if you can slow or prevent the shrinking of your brain, uh, which is common after the age of 60, then you may decrease your risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease quite substantially. So in the latest study published in JAMA Psychiatry, the data was from the Swedish National Study on Aging and Care that was uh, derived from uh, the, the population group that they looked at. So the study followed 501 subjects aged 60 years and older from the year 2001 to the year 2009 who were free of dementia at the beginning of the study. So they did MRI imaging of their brains, which was conducted in 299 of these subjects routinely during a six-year follow-up period. So here's what the results showed. It showed that individuals with higher blood levels of vitamin B12 showed a significant decrease in the rate of total brain tissue volume loss. That means that their brains were shrinking uh, or at a much slower rate than individuals who had lower blood levels of vitamin B12. So vitamin B12 has been shown to have neuroprotective effects which may directly slow brain shrinking. But it also lowers a chemical in the blood called homocysteine. Now high levels of homocysteine we know is very damaging to the brain. And high blood levels of homocysteine are correlated with brain shrinkage and risk of Alzheimer's disease in many studies that have preceded this one. So in this study, higher homocysteine levels was also linked to more rapid brain volume shrinking. So there are at least two ways in which vitamin B12 may slow brain shrinking. That is by directly preventing a loss of brain cells or death of brain cells and by lowering homocysteine blood levels, which we know are linked to uh, brain damage. So now, as well in the 2016 JAMA study, uh, it showed that individuals with lower vitamin B12 levels and or high homocysteine levels also showed increased white matter hypersensitivity on their MRI scans. Now, white matter hypersensitivity is strongly tied to an increased risk of cognitive decline and other mental health disorders as well. So these studies are important because we know that mild cognitive impairment is the step that precedes the development of Alzheimer's disease. Now, we also know this, that people over the age of 60 years old who don't have mild cognitive impairment, whose brain function is still normal, still have a brain shrinkage rate of about 0.5% per year. Now people with mild cognitive impairment over the age of 60 have an average brain shrinkage rate of about 1% per year, which is double that of people whose brains are still functioning normally. Now in the Alzheimer's patients over the age of 60, we see a brain shrinkage rate of, of about 2.5% per year. So Everyone agrees that anything that slows down brain shrinkage is considered to be an invaluable way to preserve cognition as we age. So now this brings us to the Oxford Project to Investigate Memory and Aging, the Optima study and the, what's called the Vitacog study. So what they did is they took 100, this was back in uh, 2010, they took 172 individuals older than 70 years uh, old who already had mild cognitive impairment. Now they gave half of them the B vitamins, folic acid, vitamin B12, and vitamin B6. So they gave them 800 micrograms of folic acid, 500 micrograms of vitamin B12, and 20 milligrams of vitamin B6 every day for two years. And the other half of the subjects got the placebo. No one knew who was taking what. So the study showed that B vitamin supplementation showed uh, a reduction in brain shrinkage. So it actually showed uh, uh, the individuals taking the B vitamins 
had a 30% slower rate of brain atrophy on average, and in some cases it, it slowed brain shrinkage by up to 53%. Now these people already had mild cognitive impairment, and they were already over the age of 70. And the cognitive test showed that the, the greater the rate of brain shrinkage, the more rapid was the decline in cognitive function and the greater risk of Alzheimer's disease. So if you slowed brain atrophy, even in people with mild cognitive impairment, it helped to decrease the risk of further cognitive decline. So everyone agrees that slowing brain shrinkage or atrophy is an important feature of maintaining cognitive function uh, as we get older. So, so far only B vitamin supplementation has been able to show this effect in human clinical intervention studies. There are no drugs that can do this yet, at least not this dramatically. So preventing brain total uh, uh, atrophy as we age is a fascinating area that is strongly linked to your healthy life expectancy and your quality of life. So I wanted to bring this information to your attention. I think it's wise to know your blood level of homocysteine, vitamin B12, and your red blood cell level of folic acid. And know that uh, these are proving to be very important biomarkers of present and future brain health. And these levels can be optimized through a simple B vitamin supplementation regimen. So I've included the link to the studies in the text below if you're looking for any further details. So until we meet again, I'll encourage you to eat smart, Live well, and I know you're going to look and feel great. Thanks for watching.